Okay, so we're asked to write these numbers in ascending orders, and we, we've got two fractions and a decimal. Now, ascending means going up. Okay, so we're going to start with the smallest and go to the biggest. Now, the first thing I want to do is convert these all into something that I can easily compare them. By far, the easiest thing to compare is decimals. So I'm going to convert both the 9 tenths and the 7 over 25 to decimals. Now, I know that using my columns, this is my units, this is my tenths. 9 tenths would be 9 here, so point there. So it's going to be 0 0.9 is 9 tenths, because that 9 is in the tenths column. Next, I'm going to try and convert this. Now, what might be easier is if I times top and bottom by 4 to make this over 100. So 7 times 4 is 28 over 100. And again, using columns, so units, tenths, hundredths, it's 28 hundredths. So it's 28 hundredths. So that's going to be 0 0.28. And you could have done both of these with uh, division. It's just I'm not quite sure I know my 25 times table that well. Well, maybe I do. OK, and this last one is just 0 0.8. Well, that's kind of given to us in the question. So what I want to do is line all of these up. So I'm going to just do some lines. And we're going to have 0 0.8. 9, 0 0.28, and 0 0.8. So the first column I'm looking at is the first one. Well, they're all zeros, so all the same. And then I'm going to look at this column. Well, this here is the smallest one, so that's going to be first. This one here is the next smallest one, so that's going to be second. And this is the biggest one here. Now, what's really important is when we write our answer, we don't write down the decimals because we made the decimals. The question didn't have decimals in. So it's really important that we write down the actual things that were in the question. So the 0 0.28 was 7 over 25, so that's the smallest. Then it was 0 0.8. Now that was 0 0.8 in the question. And then it was 9 over 10. And you probably will lose marks if you don't write down what the question says, so the fractions in the question.